Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to a very special episode today. Today we are celebrating Earth Day, which happens on April 22nd, 2023. And I'm so honored and exciting to be pouring with this whole wonderful group of people throughout the entire month of April. We're all just gonna be posting our own videos with the Earth Day title in them. So thank you so much to Nate Bright from Nate Bright Art for organizing this. This is a lot of fun. Earth Day is literally one of my favorite holidays. I used to be a gardener. I still am a gardener, but I love watching, especially right now in springtime, all the little flowers popping up and blooming. There's this one patch over near the little water feature that we have of irises and all year long, they're kind of just green leaves. And now of course, these beautiful purple bearded irises are all blooming and they're so pretty. I'm gonna put some pictures up for you guys right here. But that was kind of my inspiration for this pour tonight. Um, I love the way they look and they're so special. It's kind of like a gift from the earth. It's just, it only lasts a little while, but they're just so magnificent. This amazing deep purple color with that the big leaf and then that gorgeous white with a little bit of yellow in there. It's just so cool looking. I love them very, very much. So I hope you guys enjoy the flowers blooming and springtime and I hope sun comes your way and some nice warm weather soon and you enjoy the grass growing and the flowers blooming. So happy Earth Day to you all. Um, Let's get started. So this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted the sides and edges with my flow extender color. Let's get that out of the way. I have some beautiful colors that I'm really, really excited about. Um, the first one we're using is this beautiful golden permanent violet dark. My pouring medium tonight is that pouring medium that I showed you guys how to mix in the last video we did, Night of a Thousand Stars, the mixing with the gel gloss. So this is that pouring medium, gel gloss and Floetrol, and a bit of water. So pretty, nice and thick, creamy. I actually have watered this one down. So that ratio is about one to three or one to four, depending on how thick your Floetrol is and also depending on which gloss you're using. If you're using heavy gloss gel versus the regular gloss gel, you're gonna need a little more Floetrol or water. So, okay, next we have the pearl yellow that I've been having this little love affair with lately. <laughs> I love this so much. This is by Amsterdam and it dries this beautiful golden, like golden, light gold yellow color, so pretty. This is beautiful shimmer on it. I really like this a lot. Uh, we used that one in Fire Sky, which was absolutely gorgeous. Okay, next we have, well, actually I wanna show you this one first because this is what I was excited about with that. This Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold from Golden, the weird one, the one that looks strange in the cup, <laughs> but dries so beautifully, especially when it's mixed with other colors. So I'm actually kind of excited about this, the Pearl Yellow and the Quin Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And I love the Nickel as a Gold with our next color. This one actually started out as Bordeaux Red from Arteza. You can get these nice, big, huge, giant bottles on their website. And to this one, I have actually added a little bit of that pearl yellow because I just wanted it a little bit different. Now it's more of a strawberry, a dark red, juicy strawberry. <laughs> okay. So that's the Bordeaux with a little bit of the pearl yellow in it. Then I have some Prussian blue because I felt like I needed something darker or something different. <laughs> I drove Pori Choi crazy. I need a white. No, I need a blue. No, I need a white. Um, then I also have some pearl white because at the last minute I did decide I needed some more white or needed a white in there because that's the pearl yellow. So, and then just for you, HOA, <laughs> your, your paramour your 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. But I love her too. So she is Let's a say she was your paramour first. She is. She is my I do love her. I like, you know, I just like to explore other paint options. Okay. So the other thing I was going back and forth with was split cup or flip cup. And I think flip cup one because I have too many colors to put in a split cup. So <laughs> get some cups. For this size canvas, we need 25 ounces of paint or so. So these are two 16 ounce cups. That'll be about 30 ounces, 30, yeah, 30, 31 ounces of paint will be fine. So. Just don't fill them up all the way. Shh. <laughs> as, I got this. As if. 
and zip. <laughs> well, I'd rather have a couple of extra ounces of paint on there. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because what that does is it allows you to move around the paint and keep the parts that you like and get rid of what you don't like. Versus if you have just enough paint, you're kind of stuck with what you get. You can't stretch it out and tilt off parts that you don't like. So that extra couple of ounces of paint in the cups is insurance. You know, like when you play in poker, like we're gonna do in Vegas. Did I tell you we're going to Vegas? We're going to Vegas, baby, for PoorCon in uh, August of 2023. It's gonna be so much fun. You can find a lot more information about it on www.poorcon.com. Come and check us out. I'm teaching split cup classes. We have our wispy bits from up high, the Fiona inspired gorgeous pours with all those beautiful tenderly lines. And then we're teaching our uh, wandering spiral pour like we did in the last one that, um, Spiral Shadow was a really, really beautiful pour. So please check out PourCon.com. Get your tickets today. There is an early bird discount until April 22nd. Make sure you put in the word early bird at the end of the discount code so that you get your significant savings. Okay, let's get started. Um, I want to start with uh, just a tiny bit of gold. I'm just going to drizzle the gold in because I really don't want a lot. Okay, and then we're going to go pearl yellow. And I'm gonna layer these. I really love the way that that looks, the pearl yellow with the gold, it's so pretty together. Okay, now, what do we want here? And how brave am I gonna be? Do I want, what's gonna happen if I put the yellow next to that permanent violet? I don't know. I'm gonna go Quinacrid on Nicolazzo Gold first because I'm kind of chicken about that. Whereas these two will be beautiful next to each other. You gotta, you gotta go with your gut. Yeah, well my gut said don't do it, so I didn't. <laughs> We're gonna put some of that pretty strawberry color. And now we're gonna go with the violet. Now I'm gonna put some gold on top of that. It's amazing that those look so good next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, those yeah, you wouldn't think up. so, huh? I you know, it's like... Put a little bit of white on there. And that's what I'm saying with the Nicolazzo gold. It, by itself, it's like bleh, weird butternut, old butternut squash or something. But with stuff, it's amazing. Okay. Um, I don't want to put the yellow there now because I don't want to get green. So we're going to go with our violet again. And then the nickel has a gold on there. I'm gonna put some of this on there. And then use some of the strawberry again. Strawberry Bordeaux. And of course we need some gold just as an homage to my darling Sarah Mac. <laughs> just a tiny bit of white. Put another layer of blue. And I'm gonna put some more over the Bordeaux. So this is gonna be the outside. Yeah, well, it's a flip cup, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay. Okay. I don't think I could fit, I could fit more in there, but we're not going to. <laughs> you hush. <laughs> You're exhibiting amazing restraint. I know, right? <laughs> it is amazing. Amazing restraint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see now. So, I don't want to do this. All right, I want to flip some into a puddle of gold. All right, we're going to do our first one probably like here. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. There we go. Ooh. Pretty. Nice. I like it, I like it, I like it. We need magic taps. Pop a huge bubble. All right. Ready? Which way are you going? I'm going to just kind of lift it. Okay. Here we go. 
I mean, I'm gonna lip it a little bit. Okay, that's pretty. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay, we're gonna do this other one too. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> but I want you to notice that I have flipped this one close to the other one and I'm going to try to connect the two pores because I don't want to have a lot of space in between them. I either have a flow extender, like a solid color in there. I don't want that this time. So here we go, darling. You ready? I'm going to kind of move this one around a bit. We're going to go over this way. We're going to come back through here too. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, really pretty. We can't make it on. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is looking good. Do you want to wreck the middle of that other one that you need? Mm, Walk down? No, not necessarily. Okay. Let's torch this. cells in there. Can you see those each way? Oh yeah. Alright, now we're going to take this flow extender, which is this kind of metallic, Prussian-y sort of darker blue. It's drips. And we're going to go around this one. The whole thing. And this is why I flipped them before I had the base coat down, because I didn't want a solid bar of this through the pour. Their corners and edges. This is so pretty right there and right there. And I love this sort of like rainbow thing that's happening. All right, let's move this down around. I'm gonna hook that corner over that, hook that edge right over the corner. There we go. Nice and slow. Just kind of walking it down. I'm just gonna go right off that edge. some of that.
that's pretty cool. It's very cool. And these cells are really trippy. It's like a cell within a cell. That's amazingly beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna torch it real quick. Just a tip. <laughs> you crazy man. All right, cool. Well, this is looking awesome. I'm very, very pleased with this. I'm kind of galactic, very space agey. Um, I didn't really get my irises, but you know, it was the colors that inspired that beautiful permanent violet dark. And I love the quinacridone Nicolaysa gold in here. I like the blue that we're getting. I like that strawberry color. I like that stripe of like pearl yellow or pearl white whichever one it is so this is looking pretty cool to me uh, i will show you guys when it's dry thank you so much for hanging out with us today i wish you all a very very happy earth day and uh, go plant something go smell some flowers you know go for a walk we'll see you real soon <laughs>